Uh, someone leaked hundreds of Discord messages to Blow Blacks, uh, which is his name because he's a tranny fucker. Uh, this is what he shared with the class. A few of them are a tipster calling HRT magic. Let's read through them, chat. Uh, tipster asks, what's your fursona? Uh-oh. I thought I had these pre- Oh, there we go. Um, Maeve says, I'm only three years and six months on HRT. There's plenty Bob growth to go yet. So this is an adult man sitting in a computer chair uh, injecting synthetic hormones into his ass. I believe he's named after a um, a video game character. The only person I know named Maeve is a character from um, Paladins, which is like um, a battle royale first-person shooter. So I'm going to assume that he's named himself after a computer game character. Um, and he's talking about his male breast as Bob's, which I kind of, I kind of like as a name for a male breast because it's like, you're you want boobs, but you're a man, so you you only get Bob's. But he's bragging that his man tits will one day be of a uh, considerable size. Velvet, who's also a tranny for sure, says, "I wouldn't even mind being fat if I had proportional Bob's." Lumi, who's also a tranny, says, same. Tipster, who's fat and has bitch tits on his own, despite not being a tranny, says, no judgment. It's nice to know they're appreciated by someone at Lumi, LOL. Um, so I'm going to assume that Tipster posted pictures of his man tits, and the trannies in the Discord are like, oh my god, he's so well endowed. I wish my bob to were like his bob, because his bobs are so huge. And he's like replying to this, saying like, Finally, some recognition. I have enviable bitch tits in the tranny community. Uh, Maeve asks Velvet, do you wear bras? Lumi says, hate seeing my ribs in mirror. Um, okay. Don't look. Velvet says, when I go out, yeah, usually, though, only bralettes and sports bras because I got a weird frame. No, you have a man's frame because you are a man. Duh, idiot. Lumi says bralettes are epic time. Um, Maeve is saying that he has 38 Ds. And Tipster replies to this knowledge that Maeve the tranny has 38 D size Bob bitch tits by going HRT is a miracle drug. Wee Wee, a tranny, says yo, based. Maeve says, now I'm learning how hard it is to take bobby pics. Turns out it's not easy. The bobs don't just instantly look great on camera. No one told me this. Because they point in different directions and they look like a man's tits. They do not look like a woman's breasts and you're comparing them to your pornography that you have in your head. So they don't look right because you're a man. Tipster goes, oh my god, lol. Lumi goes, girl moment. Aww. Tipster goes, and if it makes you feel any better, my bobs look horrible too at Maeve. Lumi says, I almost got pickle in my nose. Would have been so over. Tipster, you fit in so well with these trannies, bro. Just do it. Uh, Tipster says, also, to be fair, when does Catboy Ranch highlight not involve a combo about bottoms? So that's what you can expect on the child-friendly Catboy Ranch server. If you see that as an attempted trick, does that mean that you enjoy being strangled? That's 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 Tipster's like first question coming out the gate. So what's your name? My name's Tiffany. I'm 36. I work at um what's a J I work at JC Penney's. I'm like a I'm like a um a checkout assistant. And he's like, oh, do you enjoy being strangled? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's like this is make or break it's like do you do you smoke weed do you want kids do you have kids do you like pets do you want pets would you mind pets do you enjoy being strangled those are the big those are the big ones that you gotta ask right up front to make sure that you're compatible you're a rizzler <laughs> <laughs> uh i just read that Okay, now what we need is a clip of Tipster crying. Take it away. I've not seen this yet, but I hope it's it's tragic. You don't like my opinion? Totally fine. But no, like, no, it's not about your opinion. No, it's not about I your opinion. I didn't even whatsoever. come here to talk about like this stupid shit. All right, like I came here for a completely different conversation. Yeah, that's fair like, enough. Which I is... didn't even want to talk okay. about this stupid Voss shit anymore. Wait, like wait, it's so is like. It... 
I, I think it's really that's annoying fair. to that's me. Fair. It's like that's people fair. misrepresent like what I say is me defending Lolly, and I'm not defending like Lolly. Okay, like I think it's like yeah, it's really fucked up that some people like engage <sighs> with this shit for sure. But like I don't, I don't I'm not defend saying this you're shit. defending Lolly. Right, I'm saying you're defending the sweeping. Look, that's, Keldos, that's what I I'm... told you it was a bad idea for me to come on this fucking show, and like, I I'm out of here. Peace. Wait, Tipster, you could have. Oh my god, he. I told him. I'm a little bit disappointed. I was told there would be crying. I don't know. I guess he just he realized what what probably happened. Right, Tipster's fat and retarded, so he's in the stream. And um, he's talking to whoever the fuck that is. I, I actually, I'm so embarrassed. I want to say that's Algy RFC. I think I recognize his voice at this point, if only because I am, am now a, a, a tipster fanatic and I need all tipster content all day. And Algy is just sort of like in his, uh, in his sphere. Um, but I think what happened is that tipster was uh, talking and then... Kefuls came by and says, "No, like urgently, as urgent, stressing as urgently as possible, um, like just trying to shake him, wake him up, get to the bottom of it." Kefuls, in a maniacal fury, lights up his messages and tells him, "No, don't talk about Vouch anymore because, like, the whole drama is like over." And if you go on the stream and talk about Vouch and uh, Lollicon again, then it might, like, you know, bring it back up and get people talking about it again. And then, then Tipster, having received these orders, these urgent orders, um, reprogrammed himself and just bailed on that conversation because he knew what was going to happen. He knew what was going to happen if he continued down this dark, dark path against the wise words of his of his mistress. <laughs> Got the psychomotor retardation voice down. Thanks, bro. I tried to nail it. <laughs> um... I think that's it for tipster there was actually um oh i don't have the clip for this but it was a super chat last stream and it was a video of nick the oreo that had, he had clipped and it was from the streamies and i was like a hundred percent convinced that this was like i literally said this on stream like this has to be like ai generated this has to be like fake but apparently, H, that embarrassing thing where Tipster, like, fat and disgusting and is, like, gamer coom goon station, like, t uh, toasting with a can of beer, despite him supposedly being, like, a recovering alcoholic uh, to the streamies, I literally thought that was all AI. And I thought the crowd was, like, because I thought the joke was, like, this is what Tipster pictures in his head. Like, he imagines himself at the peak of streaming, which, of course, would be the fucking gay-ass streaming awards. Um, and then he imagines himself in his, like, goon station going, like, here's to you, crowd at the streamies. And then he would have, like, a real-life audience going, like, yay, tipster. Oh, my God, I love tipster. Woo! And that's, like, I thought the joke was, like, that's, like, what's going on in his head. And that's why I laughed so hard at it. But, no, it's a real thing. H3H3, H3, for whatever reason, invited Tipster to do, like, a toast um, for the streamies. And that actually happened in real life. Um, which I assume is just because H3 knew how fucking, like, embarrassing that would be. Uh, either that or Tipster has AIDS and is going to die. And he is a recipient of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And his Make-A-Wish was that he would be... He, he asked them, he says, you know, I'm a streamer. All I do is I suck tranny cock and I don't really have any friends and everyone hates me. I'm just a big fat embarrassment. Even my wife who's retarded is like, she hates me and I cheat on her. Um, I would for one day like to know what it's like to be popular. And then they uh, coordinated with Ethan Klein. He's like, I know that you got, you are like YouTube's um enforcer when it comes to who gets to stay on the platform and who gets called out and banned due to like public criticism can you like do a thing where this fat retard feels popular for like a, a fleeting second 
He said, don't worry, bro, I got you. Um, I'm, by the way, I'm going to charge you a million dollars for this and then waive it and then write this off on my taxes. And they're like, yeah, that's what everybody does. Don't worry about it. And then uh, Ethan Klein got him to do a toast and told the audience, if you don't fucking clap, if you don't fucking clap for Tipster, you're gone. Your pass is revoked. You're not getting refunded. You're going to be sitting outside until your plane ticket's ready. And you're not going to enjoy the streamings. So everyone, they see Tipster and then the, the sign lights up above them. It says applause. I'm like, yay, Tipster. That's my that's my headcanon for this. That Tipster works in the school? Yes, he does work in the school. Oh, it was the Steamies. It was not the Streamies. It was like their... Um, it was their, uh, like, counter. Okay, I gotcha. There's a huge delay, so what's the point? My brother, all of life is a struggle. You push the boulder up the hill, and then the boulder rolls back down. There's a huge delay between everything you do and the gratification you receive. So what's the point? The point is to enjoy it regardless. Uh, and then pray that one day I will have a functioning internet connection. But you'll have to pray really, really fucking hard for that. Pray for me, chat. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!